All right, so we are on to just as a whole. I'm mm. curious to know what everybody else's favorite season is too. The thing with Black Mirror to me is that there is not a perfect season. I think on most of these seasons, you know, there's some really great episodes and there's some like not so great. I'd have to like really look back through, but I think I really remember enjoying season four a lot. But even in season four, there was like one or two episodes that I just did not like, which we will get into. <laughs> season five, well, I don't want to get ahead of it. What if we're <laughs> counting Bandersnatch as part of season five? Because technically it is. And, well, I mean, and, you know, and we'll White get Christmas into that. is technically part of season two too, right? Is that yeah, I think so. <laughs> but we do have those as separated as we're going through this chat think about whatever your favorite season is it doesn't you don't have to answer it right away you can really contemplate part of <laughs> tier list is people don't agree on tier list that's part of the fun <laughs> of a tier list i think all right so i think we could get into season two are you ready to get into season two sure let's do it episode one be right back mm -hmm. we're on season two episode one be right back which mm -hmm. is the one about the boyfriend, right, that dies, and she is able to get an AI program that kind of mimics her boyfriend. And it's also played by an actor that I really love. I can't remember his name, but he's that redheaded guy in a whole bunch of movies. He's in like a he's in Star Wars. He's in he's in a great. He's also the main character of About Time, guys, which is a really good sci-fi-ish chick flick, actually. But I, I I really enjoy that movie. He plays the boyfriend. Boyfriend dies. This is a grieving girlfriend who still wants the boyfriend to be in her life ultimately the technology kind of increases to where she can have almost like an android that looks just like him and acts like him but as i recall it's kind of takes a deep end like she's gets sick of him she doesn't like him the same as she felt with her real boyfriend i thought it was a good episode it's emotional dom nail that's really his name dom nail gleason i'm just gonna assume that that's correct dom nail <laughs> gleason is his name that's an interesting first name yeah i mean i i, I think it's it's an emotional episode, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it before we get to the ranking. I thought it was an interesting episode because it tapped into, if you look at it like formula wise as like a Rick and Morty episode, right? It kind of has that same kind of platform to it where it's like you get what you want and it's like the the ramifications of okay you got what you want now we see how it derails and that's what it felt like here where it was you know in theory wow isn't it great we have this technology that can recreate this for us so we don't feel like we have loss isn't loss anymore right but at the same time it makes things hollow with the relationship that she had part of it is that a relationship is always evolving and here it's like it took what was known about him and repackaged it for her and it takes away those elements of like well what could be because it's what was in moving along the lines of what was but no evolution i think makes you think a little bit further on the notion of ai and the notion of you know relationships right i mean in terms of okay so you know we're, we're now getting to a place where you know you can see some of these the newer the newer technology trying to replicate emotions trying to composite different pieces of humanity and it's kind of playing with that idea of okay well it's, it's bringing us to its, to its like natural next conclusion i guess and kind of giving you a piece of that and saying, okay, well, if you have that, you know, here are some pitfalls. It was fun to watch that play out. It was more of an emotional episode because, you know, she's still wrestling with the death of her actual boyfriend. And, you know, and even though she has a remnant of him there, it doesn't match and it doesn't, you know, she doesn't ever feel like it's it's really episode. And it's well done, but it's it's not the Black Mirror that I know and love. I can almost, I, I'm almost very sure that I did not like that episode. <laughs> and there's some that I love. She was being kind of selfish, and the boyfriend Android actually was as now, now it's coming back to me. The boy, the boyfriend Android was just trying to appease her the whole time and always do what was right for her. But at the end, she's like, jump off this cliff, right? She orders him, and he's like, no, I don't want to do that. So he has some sort of free will where she didn't potentially see that i think I, I agree with you geeky i think that uh i think it is a b okay so we're sticking with b on this one we can now go to season two episode two white yeah. bear i'm just gonna say off the bat i do not remember this episode much at all oh, so sorry. i'm gonna let you talk about it <laughs> from what i recall this was like a punishment for this woman who had um murdered somebody uh or was involved with it the death of, of a, I think a child and it was like replaying so when you first come into it it feels like you're I think you're rooting for 
her? You're like, what is going on? Why are these people after her? What is happening? That you're, you're kind of thrown into the mix. And as it plays out, you realize like it, this is like her punishment for what she did. And then you realize that it's, it's meant to give her the mental torture, having to relive the thing over and over and over again. So that as, as part of her penance, it was an interesting episode. This is one that I liked. I enjoyed what they were trying to do with it. it threw me a bit, which is always good. If if I can come into an episode and I can't predict exactly where it's going to go, that's always a pleasant feeling. <laughs> so, I mean, for this one, I think I'd probably say A. It straddles between A and S. It's not quite wow. S, but it's it's almost there. So I will say one thing, even though I don't really remember this episode too much, just hearing you talk about it and seeing the synopsis does remind me of, you know, a couple other episodes that do a similar thing where they kind of put you to kind of root with this character. Oh, this character's in trouble or this character's doing something. And then they kind of like flip it on its head, right? And be like, oh yeah, this person that you were rooting for, this person's a piece of <laughs> Right? So I can't speak too much about this episode only because I don't remember it too well. I just know that I'm thinking of one other episode that really stood out to me that did something very similar to this, uh, which is a later one that we'll cover. Okay, so we're gonna stick it to A. Maybe I have to give this episode another watch because apparently it's really good. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth your time. All right, so we're on A on this one. So I think we I think we can move on. I, we got a lot of episodes to still cover. <laughs> and we're gonna start getting to the really good stuff, I think. So season two, episode three, the Waldo moment. It, it's interesting. I really wanted to like this episode. <laughs> this is one where because it dealt with like mascotty goodness, I was like, okay, what are they gonna do with this? This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. And it never it never really got there. It seemed really rooted in the political. It felt like there was some room to be able to to kind of throw you, and it just never materialized. So it was a fine episode. It's not on my on the top of my list. This is this for, for this particular season, it would also probably be on the bottom. And which is really unfortunate because I really wanted to like it. And that was like, I, I remember seeing, uh, I think a promo for it. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. And I was like really preparing myself for, for that. And it just didn't get there. I think I agree with you where it had a, a great plot that it could play off of and it kind of never fully delivered, right? Because I feel like what they were trying to go for was that a lot of politicians are essentially puppets, right? And it was kind of in the literal sense of like, this is a puppet and we're gonna turn this puppet into a politician. I usually don't get political on my Twitch, but mm. it, to me, it reminds me a lot of like, say something like Trump, right? Where he was essentially a puppet for like Mitch McConnell and things like that, where it's a face that plays its role, but it's not necessarily the person that is defining everything that they do, rather doing things through somebody else. And it's um, eerie that, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just gonna say it's eerie that like this episode came out, you know, like, t I don't know, 10 years before, 10 years before the election. But it to me, it just reminds me that there's a lot of p parallels between that and what actually happened. So to me, I would almost be, just because of some of the ways that it played it, I would rank it between C and B because I think the potential is there, but then I push it towards C just because like you said, it doesn't really fully deliver on it, but I didn't find it to be the worst either. So I think I would go for around a C, but I want to hear what you would rank it. I'm a, I mean, I think I'm a, I think I'm more of a D. I think I'm a D on this one. A D, okay. So you got a D. We got an even split right now. I feel like this was better than season one, episode one. We could just, we could pop it on D. I'm fine with that. I'm not like, I don't need to defend it enough to be like, no, this <laughs> has to be. Your whole, yeah, your this, whole defense. yeah so I don't, I don't get... need this to be defensive enough. I did not like season one, episode one, but <laughs> that's me. Um, I'll, be of the, I'll be of the ilk of saying they were both bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. They're so. both meh. The nice thing about Black Mirror is that it's it's an anthology, so you don't necessarily have to watch in any order, which is why I try and recommend it to people. And actually, I can, I, I'll start out on this one because the one that I usually recommend to people to watch as their first episode to get into Black Mirror is White Christmas. And yeah, it's a good one to start it on. 
Yeah, the reason being is because I think it has the perfect mixture of so many different things. It has that whole underlying theme about technology where, uh, you know, he has like the implant and once he gets a restraining order from, I believe, his ex-girlfriend or his ex-wife, he can no longer see the faces of that ex-wife or anybody that is involved with that ex-wife. So he he's forever trying to see these people's faces and he, and he can't do it. It kind of starts to drive him crazy. But White Christmas has a couple of different stories going on. It has a great underlying theme. It has an awesome story that I think has a great twist, right? Where he's fighting. He wants to see his daughter. This whole time he wants to see his daughter. They won't let him see his daughter. And he ends up, I think, killing like the grandpa or something to see his daughter. And it turns out it was never his daughter at all. And it's such a good episode. This is an S tier episode, one of my absolute favorite episodes, but I'd love to hear your thoughts, Mr. Geeky. Yeah, no, this is this is S for me as well. And this is also one that I would recommend to people. If someone at this day and age, if, if someone hasn't discovered Black Mirror yet, I mean, that's this is the one that I would direct them towards. The thing with it is it's just, it's long. And to me, it's a positive. And if you like the material, it's a positive. You know, it feels like it's a couple episodes wrapped up into one because there is so it's just so dense and yeah it was it hit emotionally on some really big levels and it it kind of showed too just like how impact like how the idea of technology being able to cut out literal people from your life and you know of just being ostracized in that way and just how awful that would be and how gutting that could be yeah, you know the very effective episode was this was the one too with the with was this not the one with with the end where it was like the snow globe with with a snow globe what am i thinking with the ai yeah yeah, yeah. so he's he's trapped inside of a computer he's not it's not actually like so john ham is plugged into a computer talking to him right because he's actually yeah. he's trying to get the full story from him right he's trying to get him yeah. to admit that he murdered the grandpa okay. and so he's just stuck in this computer program playing it endlessly in a loop and that's uh, where time comes in right where it's like where you can slow down or speed up time on the outside but it's but it feels like i don't um, remember that part i remember it being like oh he's just going to be trapped in his own mind replaying this story for eternity like his own personal hell okay i might be you know what i might be conflating it that piece with another episode oh i know what you're talking i think i know which episode you're talking. which also will okay i don't want to get him myself no, yes we'll, we'll, we'll okay this in and of itself very good episode that episode all right it'll be a mystery i, guess <laughs> I don't know how i feel about it yet yeah, so um, yeah, White Christmas, I think I think we can agree is an S tier. I think we're all in agreement on S. This is an excellent episode. It's the one that I always recommend people start with if they've somehow, like you said, not been living under a rock or never seen an episode of Black Mirror. This is the perfect entry into it. It has, it has all the things that we know and love of Black Mirror. And on top of that, I think this is kind of the start of where it really started to become its own thing and know its own identity, right? Whereas initially in season one and two, on on top of just the technology episodes, they have a lot of just like political or dramatic, not necessarily technologically related episodes. Whereas kind of moving forward from here, I would think it's a lot more focused on technology. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think there was, I think prior to this was kind of getting its sea legs a little bit. It was not quite stuck on moving more towards the, the tech slant to it. This, this really embraced it. In the scheme of the episodes you've seen, even if you've only seen a few episodes, you probably still have a favorite or a least favorite of those couple you've seen too. Yeah, I would agree. And, and your opinion matters. <laughs> Just because yeah. you haven't seen them all doesn't mean, doesn't mean you, you can't, you can't spot something you like when you like it. Very true. I mean, yeah, since it's an anthology, every every episode is completely like separate, which makes it so that it's totally fine to rank it just based on your knowledge of episodes. And that makes it more fun because I actually want more. I was already expecting a lot more disparity between our thoughts of the episodes and chat's thoughts. But so far, we've been pretty much on the same point. I think the only one that there was a lot of disparity on was season well, two, episode three versus season one, episode one, because we both agree that they're both pretty bad. But I, I think one is worse. I think season one, episode one is E. <laughs> I'm going back to it. No, we'll, we'll come back to it. Because uh, we need to eventually, I think at the very end, we need to set the tiers for these and decide. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to sub up, give the video a like, and share with anyone you know who appreciates these types of videos. Also, we realize you could have gone anywhere and you chose to nerd out with us. And we appreciate that. So, as always, I am Mr. Geeky. And until next week, Black Mirror Speaky. Keep it geeky, folks.